Hi guys, it's Ben here and it's been a quiet day for Liverpool as far as transfers are concerned but it's time to look ahead to their first match of the pre-season campaign and it's tomorrow night against Tranmere Rovers. So the Reds have been back in training for a week now and tomorrow night they take on Tranmere Rovers at Prenton Park. This is a repeat of last season's curtain raiser in pre-season. There's been no major competitive international tournament this summer, only Emre Chan was away on international duty for a long time so he won't be there. But the rest of them will be back in training so I think we'll see a much stronger side than we saw last year at Tranmere. One person we won't be seeing is Mohamed Salah, he's having to go back to Egypt to sort out the formalities of his visa so we might see him on Friday against Wigan but even that's not confirmed yet so it might be the Asia tour by the time we see him in road for the first time. But Dominic Slanky may well make his first appearance under Jurgen Klopp. The striker whose signing was officially announced this week could be thrust into action. But I'm looking forward to see what he's like in amongst that Liverpool first team. Hopefully he gets to play with Mane and some of the other first team players to see what his movement's like, see if he's up to speed with those guys. We saw him at the Under-20 World Cup and he looked sharp, he looked really physical, it looked like he was one of the best players of that tournament but it'll be interesting to see how he fares against a senior side and senior football. And of course we shouldn't look too much into these pre-season games, it's only Tranmere Rovers and on Friday it's only Wigan, the standard of opposition obviously will get better as the preseason goes on. But it was this time last year when Ben Woodburn, Ovi Ajaru and a couple of others really made a name for themselves. They started to get noticed. Ajaru in particular came out of nowhere really, put in a great performance at Tranmere and that propelled him on to greater things. So it will do some of these guys absolutely no harm to put in a good performance and there's a question mark over the likes of Flanagan, Harry Wilson, Ryan Kent. I know Klopp wants to have a look at them, Joe Gomez too. As much as it is only Tranmere Rovers and it is just the first friendly of the campaign, it's important to equip yourself well because it might make the difference when the manager comes to pick his team for the league season. So we're not going to see Salah and it's also unlikely that Philippe Coutinho and Adam Lallana will feature. They got back to pre-season training later than everybody else. A few of the other players might be kept back for Friday. I think Mignolet maybe. Klopp will want to have a good look at Karius and Ward to see who's going to be Mignolet's main challenger this season and who might get some games in the Cups. So I expect them to get 45 minutes each against Tranmere. It's also an opportunity for guys like Lazar Markovic and Kevin Stewart. Players that don't really know where they stand, where they're going to be playing next season. Have they got a feature at Liverpool? To me it seems unlikely, especially in Markovic's case, I think everyone's lines pretty much been made up on him. But look, it's obviously a good chance for them to get into the shop window. Same can be said for Alberto Moreno and maybe even Lucas Leiva, he could be set to leave this summer. I know we say that every year about Lucas, but this time it does kind of feel right with the Gremio links. I think that would make sense for him, I think he'd enjoy that. I think he pretty much indicated that that would be nice for him. Some people love these friendlies, some people hate them. I for one always do get a bit excited, we haven't seen Liverpool play in a couple of months and I just want to see how sharp everyone is. And just like there was with Ajaria and Woodburn last year, there often are a couple of players that stand out players you don't perhaps expect to look so good in pre-season just surprise you a bit. It's also going to be fantastic to see Jordan Henderson and Sadio Mane back in the side. They've been out for so long, they've been severely missed too. So hopefully we'll see plenty of them over the next few weeks. If I was to predict a starting 11, I mean I know there's going to be two 11s, we'll probably change every one at half time, but if I was to predict an 11, I'd probably go with Karius in goal. I'd probably say Trent Alexander-Arnold, Joe Gomez, Lucas Leiva, Alberto Moreno across the back. Grujic, Stewart and Ajara in the middle. Looking forward to seeing how Grujic does in this pre-season. Hopefully he can kick on. And then Ryan Kent once Side, ben would burn the other and Roberto Firmino up front. That is purely a guess. I mean, we know there's going to be about 22 players involved tomorrow, so that's probably going to all be wrong. As far as score prediction goes, I mean, it was 1-0 last year. You can never really guess with these sort of things. I think it is just about getting a run out and seeing how the players are looking physically and everything. I will go for 3-0, though. I think it'll be more convincing than last year, given the fact that all the senior players are pretty much there. There was no summer tournaments. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the game. I'm looking forward to seeing the Reds back in action. There's a lot of games in this preseason for Liverpool. There are eight games for us to watch, so that should be pretty entertaining throughout the summer. Leave a comment with your predicted scoreline for tomorrow night. Do you think Liverpool will trounce Tramir Rovers or do you think it will just be a steady little performance? And also let me know who you're most excited to see. Are you looking forward to seeing Dominic Solanke in red for the first time? Let me know down below. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. We'll be uploading tomorrow night after the game with some reaction. Obviously a lot of the videos I've been doing this summer have been transfer related as that's been the main topic around Liverpool Football Club. But do drop a like if you like this sort of thing. If you want me to keep covering all the games and talking about the matches. Share the video. Tell your mates. If you want to get to one thousand subscribers before the start of the Premier League season. Is that doable, do you think? Can we get to 1,000 subscribers before we kick off against Watford at 12.30 on Saturday the 12th of August? Do follow my other socials too, guys. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I'm very active on those, particularly Instagram. We do a lot of lives and everything else. And I'll see you after Tranmere. Up the Reds.